are a few, and don't ask me the names, I'm bad at this, a few companies that make raw extracts of the grape skin that have none of the sugars in it from the grape, anything else, but they're raw. If they cook them and process them, the benefit you're going to get from that is so minimal. As an example, two years ago I went out to the epicenter in this country of phytochemical research at State University of Oregon. It was where Linus Pauling graduated. I, I was supposed to go for 30 minutes. I ended up being there for more than half a day. The punchline question was, I said, what have you found? Have you found what I'm teaching or am I wrong? That when you cook the plant-based food, the phytochemical is not active. They said, absolutely. I said, well, then why are people running around saying when you cook tomatoes, you have more phytochemicals than when you don't? And the guy laughed. And I said, let me tell you a story on that. When this first came out of, again, Johns Hopkins, this researcher was for so proud of herself, she said, you're going to have more phytonutrients when you cook a tomato, the lipopene in there, than you will if you don't cook it. So I listened to her. They got me on a debate on a, on a Baltimore radio show. It was so funny. I didn't say anything. I had to bite my tongue, of course, for 10 minutes. And she's going on, and we found it, and the more you cooked it, and the da 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 And I said, they said, what do you think about this, Dr. Clement? I said, well, here's what I think about it. I said, number one, I'm, I'm so proud to be on the show with a doctor that created a whole brand new form of science that I've never heard about before. I said, now the science that I heard about, and I, I know I'm wrong, doctor. I said, and forgive me. But I have to say this, because this is what I was training and everyone else said. I said, when you cook something, you destroy elements. You don't manifest something that wasn't there to begin with. I said, but you must have found something. Can I come down and study with you? I said, because what you're saying is when you cook something, not only do you not destroy it, but now you create things that weren't there to begin with. Do you follow? But if you're not a scientist and you don't think logically, you would probably think, well, I heard that on the news the other day, that if you eat tomato sauce on top of pizza pie, it's better for you than if you eat a ripe tomato. <laughs> Just like the wine industry does this, if you drink wine, you're going to live longer. <laughs> Who the hell do you think funded that study? The fish oil people. <laughs> you, everything's a con, unfortunately. It's really, you know, the only thing that's not a con is you, but you're probably the biggest con artist in your life. You know, we con ourselves. I mean, I spent my whole first part of my life lying to myself and getting out of doing what I should be doing. And so we're experts at conning to ourselves. 